the elite performers look at time and use time completely differently than the people who perform at an average level. I think that identifies most people's lives. In other words, the average becomes sort of like this slow asphyxiation. It's almost like an anesthetic. And that over time, we become kind of immune and dulled to the average that we're becoming. I know this is true, at least for me. You probably experience it yourself too. And so over time, we sort of minimize where we're at. In other words, you don't magnify the degree to which the pain ought to be affecting you. And so really what he means in that is, listen, you're gonna get out of your life what you'll accept. That's really difficult for people, I think, to understand is, look, what you think you're worth and what you're gonna tolerate is absolutely what you're gonna bring into your life and what the outward part of your life's gonna look like. And so I let myself sort of feel the pain and the difficulty of being not where I want to be in whatever that area is, whether it's my spirituality, my relationships, my money. I let myself feel that pain because as you know, there's two motivators, right? There's the gaining of pleasure, right? Wanting to go get something, chasing the dream, but then there's the avoidance of pain. And for a lot of champions, that's a pretty big driving force for them. And so at least for me, I leverage both of those things on me to get myself to take action. When you're trying to become successful, other people are going to believe that you're out for the wrong reasons. They think you're only trying to help yourself. In actuality, that's going to be very true because that's the only person that you need to worry about when you're trying to become successful. Just figure out what you need to do to improve your life and improve your situation and do things that you genuinely love and you enjoy spending your time doing. Now that's going to come across as you looking like a very selfish, self-centered, arrogant individual, but in all honesty, you don't need to listen to those people. You need to make sure that you're focused on yourself because those are the only person that you need to take care of every single day. That's you. So if you focus on yourself and do things that you genuinely love and enjoy, and you're trying to improve yourself, eventually you will be helping others because they'll look at you and realize that you're a great example of what to do and how to do it. Because so many people just sit on their hands and sit on their feet and don't do anything with their goals or their dreams, and they claim they want to be successful, but in actuality, they never go out and do anything with that. They just say they want to be successful. They don't put any time or energy or effort into that or do anything to start. And that's one of the hardest things you can do when you're trying to become successful, is just start. Put your feet down and get going. It's not hard, but it is very challenging to do. And it's, there are people that are listening to this, because I get messages from them all the time, that are in something similar, meaning they're they're in a career that maybe was their first dream. This yeah. was their dream. They thought this is what they wanted yeah. to do. They've gone down the road to a certain extent, but they're feeling this tug on their heart to maybe chase their passion or yeah. their mission. What would you say to those people? That had to be a difficult decision. You had all these people relying on you. Basically. I think what you said is really true, though, because I think, first off, that dream starts a certain size and growth. I talked about this with yesterday. Somebody, I think you'll agree with me on this. Also, the path to getting there will reveal itself as you go. I think oftentimes people think, I have to know every single step in order to get to this ultimate vision, and it doesn't work that way, right? I think the first, the beginning place is, I think most people don't see themselves as a leader. Just that in and of itself, I think most people don't see themselves that way, that it's some mystical role in life. What would you say to somebody who says, I just don't know that I am a leader or could be a leader? And when you can identify what someone's two or three natural gifts are, and they're things they know intuitively to be true about themselves, and you link that gift to them achieving, you've built a leader. So if I said to you, it's your natural heart to serve people, brother. It's your unbelievable ability to communicate. It's your mom and her background in your ear that whole time supporting you, giving. You link, that's what you're gonna change the world. And you go, that, I do have a great mom. I do have a heart to serve. I do have a big spirit. And you link that to them, boom. Because here's the truth in life. Those of you that are listening, on one hand, if you're lucky, probably there's one or two fingers, you can count the person who that when you were a little boy or a little girl made you feel special. Remember them? Just picture their face right now. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Maybe it's your mother or a coach or your grandpa or an uncle or an auntie. And that's the one when you were a little boy or girl, they made you feel special. They knew you were different. They knew you were unique. They saw your blessings. They saw your gifts. Maybe you got one in your life. And when you picture their face, whether they've passed away or are still living, you get emotional. You can picture the times they made you feel that way, can't you? Let's talk first of all about getting laser focused. And I mean this as your friend. I mean this talking to myself too. I always cover things that make me better, things that I struggle with. But I gotta tell you, I mean I think there's a different level for you to get obsessed, crazy laser focused. I say all the time, our obsessions become our possessions. But we won't possess them if we're not truly obsessed. I bet there's been a person in your life you've been obsessed with. If you're over 20 years old, listen to this, more than likely you've had somebody you were pretty obsessed with, haven't you? That you wanted in your life, you wanted to date, you wanted as a girlfriend or a boyfriend or a significant other. How many times a day did they distract you from what you were doing with just the thought of them? 
In other words, this is what I want you to understand. When you're laser obsessed focused, your obsession distracts you from what you're currently doing, not the other way around. You're not really obsessed with it if you're easily distracted from it. This is so important. You right now can test whether it's your obsession with whether it distracts you constantly when you're doing your regular job, but it's your side hustle that comes up. You can't stop thinking about it. It distracts you from the rest of your life. When it's not really your obsession, the rest of your life distracts you from it. And so the it in your life is so important, but there's all these things that distract us today. I'm gonna give you a recommendation. Turn your damn TV off. Turn the radio off most of the time. Turn your phone off a lot too. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you haven't already, please go ahead and like the video. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And let us know what you thought down in that comment section down below.